Hello YouTube, welcome to the 17th video on the Discovery 2 V8 engine rebuild. In this, the penultimate video in the series, for now, I uh, find the problem categorically and I fix it. <laughs> so you'll, you'll have seen in the last video, I was pretty confident that I'd found the problem uh, and uh, after starting the engine, and the engine warming up, we got a noise again. Similar, but uh, diff, but different actually. When I sort of <laughs> picked myself up again, um, I had a look, I cleaned those two tappets down. So here's what I found. This is the tappet body. The camshaft hits the bottom of here. And it moves up and down. Uh, inside there is a spring. And then the plunger. Uh, there's a little one-way valve on the end of the plunger so the oil can go down, but it can't go back in. And that plunger goes in there and sits within the tappet about here. Uh, and then there's a little, there we go, there's a little uh, cap to it, and that's where your push rod sits. This is a high mileage tappet, it's done 50, 100, 150,000 miles maybe. You can see some wear marks there. The plunger, however, looks like brand new, there's no evidence of wear on it. So that is the very old very high mileage tappet. This is the brand new AE tappet that I got from Germany and uh, the plunger here, that's the interesting thing, it does have some wear on it. You can see some wear marks on the cylinder there. So this is what I noticed when I started to look at these. Well I'll show you directly on camera look. Firstly, you drop those plungers in and this is what happens the fit, the distance between the outside of this plunger and the inside of the tuffet body is critical to how it functions. There has to be a little bit of a gap for the oil to leak up, but not huge. If it's huge, then it stops functioning correctly. So if I get this plunger out, try and demonstrate the fit of this plunger. So if I have the two next to each other, So this is the new <coughs> the new part and this is the old part. So it turns out that there's about a one to one and a half thou clearance here and there's a five thou clearance here. So that totally explains the reason it's making all that noise. The oil is able to escape past the plunger and the tappet is not holding the clearances closed like it should do. I feel very confident that I've got a set of useless tappets in the engine. Uh, so I went on the search for OEM, new old stock, original equipment uh, tappets, and I did eventually find them, twice the price of these, but um, I don't care if they're going to work. So I got hold of these from a, an eBay shop called Rover Parts of London. Very kind chap, helped me out and sent them very quickly. Uh, and so I got on and fitted them. Right, I'm trying to fill the tappets with oil. You can take them apart, you could squirt some in, but this is probably a bit quicker because there's so many. You can see I'm missing one. There's one more to come in the post. I want to fill them with oil so they don't bottom out when I first start the engine. Now that one I can get... Oh, that one's done, actually. That one I can get all the way to the bottom. Now you should see the bubbles coming out, look. It was thin enough that the air's coming past the bottom of the plunger and up into the annulus in the middle. There's another bubble. Holding it down again here, there's more bubbles coming, can you see? There we go. So I do it about twice and then I reach a point where I, I can't, uh, it's still there, I can't bottom the plunger out, right, that's what I want. There's so many theories, do it, don't do it, soak it for 24 hours, this is obviously a nice quick way of doing it. There we go, so I can push the plunger in now, but I can't get it to the bottom. That's close enough, I can push it a fair way in, but um, not that it's locked at the top of its travel because that would be holding valves open. So I'll carry on and finish these last few and I'll do the same to the one more that arrives in the post hopefully today. So then these prime, that means they won't bottom out uh, hit the bottom of their travel when they're in the engine but they also won't hold the valves open because I've sort of half filled them with oil if you like. So that was the plan anyway. So here we are changing the tappets 
this is ready to come off now. Right, the new tablets are in, the battery ran out. Bloody typical, isn't it? So, new tablets are in, now I'm putting the push rods in. Right, YouTube, since the time lapse is all back together now, and once again I'm Full of nerves. This I first started this car on the 8th of December, although you'll have got the video quite a bit later than that. Today is the 24th of January. I've been chasing this fault for a long time. So here goes. I've primed it um, on the starter with the injectors uh, disconnected. I've cleared the fault codes and it is ready to fire up. The garage door is open so I can run it for a while again. Warm it up and see if it is quiet or not. Here we go. It's done it, man. It's fixed. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. After 17 videos, the saga is finally over. The engine rebuild is complete. I'm so pleased. It's running a dream now. So, there is one more video on its way. Maybe more in the future, but for now, one more video in this series. Video 18. Uh, I'm going to get the thing out and drive it. We'll see it running. And I'm going to go and collect the heavy object that we bought that car to tow. The whole reason that we own it and the reason for all of this project. I'm going to go get the heavy thing. And here's the trailer I've been reassembling uh, in preparation for that. I might give it away or it might just be a hint of um, a clue, if you like, uh, as to what it is that I'm going to be towing. But yeah, let's go get it in the next video. That's it now, really, for the rebuild. I really hope you've enjoyed it. There's plenty more to come on this channel. I'll get back on with this shortly. Uh, after the 18th video on the Discovery, we'll be back into this. Gearbox, engine, bulkhead, lots to do on that. Here's the, here's the engine sat waiting. Folks, it's been emotional. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, tune in again for um, using the Discovery too.